let's talk a little bit about what this cloud native modern world that we're in entails for modern software developers. I want to touch on three different places where troubleshooting is especially difficult. The first one is troubleshooting in CI. Anybody who's not familiar with the concept, continuous integration. Uh, it's a process of getting a piece of software from the source code to an actual artifact that is available for delivery to a customer. I'm talking about the full CI CD pipeline here, basically. I'm trying to understand exactly what's going on inside the agent, why it produced the artifact it produced in the way it produced or why it failed during the way is a notorious problem. The main problem is that currently observability tools are not really focused on CI. They don't hone in on the CI problem. So that's one thing that's difficult. Another bit that's difficult is we talked about it a little bit before profiling. Relatively difficult to understand why something is not performing, especially in the multi-instance, multi-networking service mesh environment. Most of the tools, generally speaking, do not show you the full path or the full trace of the way, and Stan is actually very good at that. Today, to actually understand the path of the code flow, basically an request comes in and what happens afterwards, requires a deep understanding of networking arch architecture behind it. Third party libraries that you call systems and the configuration are options that they have that might change the behavior of your code. And of course, whenever you have an application that's very data dependent, it really, really relies on underlying data. This is, of course, less deterministic than you would have with like normal, simpler applications with simpler procedural flows. And I think that the main thing that I want to share here is the fact that investigating where the code went, what path it took, is not trivial. Instana has a bunch of features to help with that. We at Lightman have a bunch of features to help with that on different levels of abstraction, and we'll talk about that. Now, I want to talk a tiny bit about the existing observability workflow. And to anybody who doesn't know what observability is, observability is best described as the property of a system. So a system is observable if you can get the information you want out of it without having to write new code to expose the telemetry required to understand the problem. Now, both Instana and Lightrun approach this problem from different points of view. Lightrun focuses more on the developer side. We focus on adding real-time instrumentation, adding logs, metrics, traces, snapshots, and so forth to code in real time without having to redeploy the application. Instana focuses on auto tracing and instrumenting the application across the board, across all the levels of infrastructure to better understand what is going on inside the application in a larger, more bird's eye view of the situation. And there's a bunch of problem with the current process of observability. Usually speaking, observability tooling are built for operators, people who operate production systems and not for developers, engineers who write the code. That adding more telemetry, writing more code, writing more logs, instrumenting more metrics, doing more things is usually a very non-agile process. You have a problem, you add more telemetry, you redeploy. You figure out the next step of the problem, you add more telemetry, you redeploy and so forth and so forth. This information flow between the developer and the production system should be something that happens continuously. It will streamline troubleshooting. We should give developers tools to be able to ask questions and get answers immediately. It should be proactive if you are asking a question should be answered. Developers are now expected and are required actually to understand what's going on inside the production applications to, bet, to write better software. We're trying to get the power back to developers. Modern applications, they're distributed, they're asynchronous, and they're ephemeral, and this creates a lot of challenges for debugging them. We can't just log into a production server and get a expect to get a shell and, you know, find the log for the process that's having an issue and use that to, to debug something anymore. It's just not going to work when we have these multi-instance microservice applications where what used to be a function call is now a network call to another service. We do think that shift left observability includes having these observability tools available to you in all of your environments, including in your CI, including in your development environments. Uh, whether it's in development or in one of these production environments, abstraction layers like Docker and Kubernetes interfere with debugging tools that we're used to. We can't use profiling tools in production. Um, so Insana has a lot of tools to help you. What this boils down to is that we're trying to automate as much of this process as we can for you. And so automation can help you keep up with that and make sure that there aren't gaps in your observability. And then on the other side of that, automation can help you with your MTTR or in actually prevent issues with automatic actions that can be taken on your behalf. Now, this is the dynamic dependency graph. This is updated in real time. These, this is all the traffic between these various services. So you can see databases, you can see microservices, you can see front ends, you can see external services. This is what powers so much of the automation and the intelligence that's built into Instana.